Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen. I have something really cool prepared for you guys. I was just like, what happens actually if the best master Yi in the entire world decides to actually play a fun mode arena? But he doesn't play for fun. He actually try hard and does his absolute best to win. What will happen? We will find out right here. I'm going to be doing an ultimate test of taking the game to the next level. Very serious gameplay. You can view this as a Master Yi in Arena guide. And I'm really looking forward to be playing this now. Um, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going to happen. Hello. But um, we're just going to see what we can do. My goal is to get first place. My goal is to win every single match. Even though that is most likely not going to happen. Yumi. Lulu maybe. Yumi is okay. Yeah, whatever. I also take Yumi. It's fine. I did not expect. Like, I, I wanted to. I did not expect to see a Yumi here. <clears throat> I'm not sure what to expect. I just I expect. I just came up with the idea because I really enjoy playing arena myself, and I did play a lot of arena games already. And every time I played Yi, I was really winning. And I was like, a lot of people also asked me, "What if actually Zenarius plays Master Yi in arena?" So why not? Maybe you guys love it. Maybe you guys love it. I'm really curious. Okay, so we are playing with Yumi. And we're playing against a Pike and Tom Kench and the rest. So I we are tryharding. So Pike Tom Kench that should be pretty free because they don't should not have enough damage yet. This could be pretty scary because Heimerdinger will be dealing us a lot of damage. Now Orin Pike also shouldn't be too big of a problem. We also have Mordekaiser and uh Volibier. That could be a little bit scary because with, with all their base damage, they could potentially have enough. This is going to be a very scary round because Timo is hard countering Yi, especially in Arena, because he can play very slow in Kaitas. And Ezreal and Lux is, should be an easy one. I personally think that on hit is going to be the smartest here. Like, you have two choices. You can go um, full crit or on hit. But if I go crit while I have no teammate and the enemies have champions like Tam, Kench, Choga, Frenekton, Mordecai, Zavolipir, that is where at Orn. If I go crit, then they would end up having like 500 armor. I would not deal any damage to them. So I personally believe, in terms of guide, that um, Blade of the Rune, King, Kraken, and Rage Blade combination, and then Titanic Hydra is for sure the smartest. Also, I played like around 10 games in total arena with Master Yi. I think I won every single one of those. Or maybe once I was second. Um, and from my experience, the on-hit build was always better. Okay, so here we have here fifty percent more damage. Enemies below fifty percent is pretty decent. Black shield is also pretty nice, but they can kite me. The faster you are to them, dealing more damage. Not necessarily needed. I'm just gonna swap here. After a dash, leap, blink, or teleport ability, exciting, exciting stealth, gain freedom moves. That looks really, really good for you. Um. I'm gonna be taking this because it's pretty decent and I don't want to use all my rerolls already. I need to play it very smart with the rerolls as well. Let's see what she got. She got healing. When you are trying, like, just look at the enemy team. Augments here. By the way, guys, I'm not just, I, I, I'm literally just not really tryharding. I, I am tryharding, but I am also enjoying it a lot. Okay, let's go. So this is also gonna be pretty entertaining, I hope. I'm gonna get the. All of Dodge the Orn Q while at the same time getting the entire plant. Just play front to back. We are way stronger than the enemies. Gonna Q the Pike here as well. Get the extra movement speed. Need to be careful that I don't get hit by the Orn one. Now preparing to hit the plant here. Gonna Q the Orn here as well. And then boom, we won the first round. Now it's. <laughs> Guys. If I uh, like li literally, if you play Marcy in arena, I feel like this champion is really, really strong because you can just run down people. There is no negative to it. And usually he loves to have a fight where it's a 2v2 because if there are more people than two also in the normal rank, then people will start to, um, 
people will start to just have too much burst and you will get one shot before you will get all your stuff out okay now we're gonna play against heimerdinger Chogov. i think most likely i'm gonna go mercs ap 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 hmm they probably also have reason i think steel caps could also be interesting steel caps could be interesting it's 525 armor uh i do get a decent amount of attack speed from berserkers berserkers has to be the best it has to be the best and i'm also not uh, capped so i'm gonna go for berserkers okay let's get some music in the background here while we have our waiting times okay now when we when the, when the game here is finished i'm gonna get now my music okay so how do we play it i'll play pretty slow wait until the plants spawn what do they have i'm gonna get the plant here on the top then the q again the heimerdinger try to sidestep as good as i can i'm gonna cue the heimerdinger again with the extra movements but i'll just try to kite a little bit now i need to get out and probably just take the portal here with the yumi on me gonna w on the spot this plant is gonna spawn before i'm gonna always play in a way where i have my double strike ready instantly gonna double strike dodge the q here with that and i try to get as much from the plant as possible i do have my q very soonish so i'm gonna try to kill the choga here even though the plant is gonna not be ours but it doesn't really matter too much do be very careful with the way i play i'm probably just gonna press my w here get my double strike ready i can use my flash and try to flash on him but it's not needed I think I have too much control. I'm just gonna play very aggressive trying to stop him here. I do actually need to flash. I don't expect to need to use my flash, but I do need to. It's too risky. I'm gonna get the plant here. Nice. Not a perfect round. We're not done yet. This Dark Seal Talents is pretty nice. Deal true damage on scaling with your armor. I have 70 armor. I do not have Seekers, but it's. It's like another E passive. I do 45 E uh, true damage on hit. And with my E, I do 28. So I have like three E's active. Yeah. Okay, guys, honestly, if you play consistently, Master, maybe with a friend, the friend is gonna play Tarek, Lulu, Yumi, um, or anything like that. I think Lulu is probably the best one. I don't know. You can just have. S I, I personally, I'm gonna be honest. I did this the first game I try out and all the other 10 games I played you where I got first place or like nine I got first place one I got second I was not trying I was just playing for fun and it is so it is like it is fun to win it is fun to win so who can blame me I'm gonna play it very slow okay he did engage I'm gonna dodge the Mordekaiser ult I'm gonna try to get out here and get the top wards plant I do have my ult up again, so I'm just gonna play very aggressive. I have my double strike ready after taking this. I need to kite outwards here. Did use my ult. I should not have used my ult instantly. Now Volibear is dead here in this position. I'm gonna take the portal. I'm gonna go to get the plant on the bottom. The topper plant is not spawning yet. Just spawned. He does get it. I'm just gonna try to get the plant here too. And now I'm gonna kite outwards. Yumi got out. Need to dodge the next Q here. I'm gonna get the top wards healing. Wait, did Yumi just want me one? No, he didn't. I'm Q the Mordekaiser. Kite outwards. Wait, Ezreal all just flew towards us. That's crazy. Okay, I mean, I'm gonna be honest, I kinda feel bad for the enemies because they just have absolutely no chance, not at all, zero. Okay, I'm gonna go Blade of the Room, and Witch Sanders will also be interesting. Um, let me think. Witch would also be interesting. I think I just need Blade of the Room King. Like, Blade of the Room King is always an item, generally speaking, for Marcy, that does so much. And I, of course, take some more attack speed here. Amazing. So now I do 48 true damage with this and 42 with the E. Okay, decent. Oh, they, we play. This is gonna be a tough one. 
This is gonna be a tough one. I think we need to instantly forcefully fight. Now I'm gonna get out here, get the plant, and then getting back in. I'm gonna get outwards again, need to kite it a little bit. I dodged the team blind, I was really taking care of that. And we won. Perfectly played. If I didn't kite it perfectly like that, I would have not gotten such a good outcome. Okay, stay focused. <laughs> I can't do this. I feel so bad doing this. It's fine, guys. It's, it's, I don't know. I don't know. You can say in the comments what you think of this. I mean, it's just me enjoying myself, enjoying my life. <clears throat> I'm gonna get a lot of people playing Master Yi in the arena, but it is a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. But I feel like the the, the way Yi is designed, it's too strong for the entire system. Become tiny, gain movement speed and bonus damage to champions based on how much larger they are. Gain bonus movement speed on champ. Gain bonus movement speed and bonus damage to champions. Okay, I think this is pretty cool because now I'm tiny while Yumi is inside me. I'm gonna take it because it's kinda cool. Look, Yumi is literally taller than me. We are literally just like a small ball running around. Now this is crazy. Okay, he has your attacks grant you. And your abilities grant you attack damage stacking infinity until the end. Okay. That's, that's cool. I'm just gonna all in I think. To dodge the chin ult here and try to get some HP back. Need to kite outwards. Oh, these chin ults only attack me. I'm gonna get the plant here spawning. That's the first plant that's gonna spawn. So it should be very fine. And then I think I'm gonna take the. Po Actually, I'm gonna take the upwards thing. Okay, I'm in full control. I'm gonna take this plant next. Kite outwards, kite outwards, kite outwards, kite inwards. It's legit not playable, but so fun to watch. I feel like the old AP. I'm like running in, running out, running in, running out. That's crazy. Okay, I think I'm gonna go for a rage blade. Sounds really good. I don't think Hellfire attached is that decent. I'm just gonna go Rage Blade. Because Rage Blade is gonna work with my E. It's gonna work with Dark Steel Talents. It's gonna work with Blade from King. What does she get? Gamba, Anvil. Gain 100,000 gold. Okay, okay. What is that? Store 15% of the total damage you have dealt to enemies. Whenever this exceeds free and free free, consume it to heal yourself and your nearest ally that amount. Okay, that seems pretty good as well. I don't know. I don't know what to say. I, you just run enemies down now. That's the guide. You just run them down. It's not playable for them at all. Not even close. Okay, let's go. I am ready. I'm ready. I'm gonna queue now. Then I'm gonna get this plant first. Now I'm gonna run to the other plants. If they survive the looks, I don't really mind. I cannot. <laughs> this is crazy. Brutal. Okay, let's get the music in. Holy shit, this is brutal. Um. Um. We need some Zelda music, I think. Holy shit. Unplayable. <laughs> I 
<laughs> okay. Lethality armor. How much do I get? I have now 53. And if I take this, 62. I got 9 true damage on hit. Now that's crazy. 9 true damage on hit. Another lethality. And now I'm gonna play against Tom Kench Pike. Holy shit. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, let's go. Focus. I'm not gonna try it anymore though. It's it's I just gonna play my game. Guys, damage of this round 1.8k. Look how tall this they were. Both had Goliath. Look at his corpse and look at my size. It's literally um, lore accurate Master Yi, guys. Lore accurate Master Yi, lore accurate Tom Kench. All I'm saying. Okay. Attack range, most likely the best. Then I can kite even a little bit further. Don't see much enemies can do about it, to be honest. Hmm, I don't need to juice. I mean, my attack range being when I'm when I'm so tiny. I mean, it's kind of huge. Look at my attack damage. When I'm so tiny, and I have so much attack range. Because my attack range is the same, same no matter the size. Okay, let's go. Mm -mm. i run him down too. Oh, I might die. I actually didn't focus for one second. I actually didn't focus for one second, but it shouldn't matter at all. He can just survive me. I think it shouldn't matter at all. Mm. Oh, but Heimaning also got survived. <gasps> I actually lost a round and I could have played it so much better. Wow. I can't believe I actually lost a round. Okay, it's fine. 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 It's, fine. It's, fine. It's, fine. it's nice because now they are still inside and it's still challenging. I love it. I love it. Okay, I'm gonna go Titanic Hydra. I should just go crack and just go raw damage. What are the enemies supposed to do? Why did I, why do I have Mountain Soul now? Does it give? Teleport to your ally. Like, the shields are not even... That's crazy! Okay, let's go. Okay, now I take it more seriously. Let's go, focus. I'm just gonna run them down and play it smart. Yo, Habibi! Nah, it's absolutely a play, man! Look at my movement speed! Tech speed. Now we are at 2.67. 140%. I got ability power. Why do I have 122 ability power? Now we play against Heimerdinger Chogaf again. Okay, very interesting. He has warm-up routine. That's why we died before. He has warm-up routine. Okay, let's go. Hey, this guy's dead. <laughs> Oh, 
Holy shit, that is a disaster. <laughs> okay, let's let's finish it quickly. Now the last item, Titanic Hydra, and now we are full built. The only thing I'm gonna change is that bonus. Hmm, these sets are pretty bad. But it's still two. I'm gonna take this. Okay, my I have seven I have ability power armor, attack speed 61, lethality 13, ability haste 9. I have 3.5k HP with the Yumi and Titanic Hydra. Now we are watching. I don't know what what can happen to us. I do not know what the enemies are can do, to be honest. And I feel kinda bad right now. Okay, let's go. Let's see who wins. I do want Lux and Ezreal to win this. And I should be easily winning this. Okay. I mean, I Yeah, they're just too weak. It's it's just too slow. Like Heimerdinger Chogav is just too slow. Okay, now we're gonna have an easy one. Last one. Your attacks fire bolt at an additional target dealing reduced damage and applying on hit effects. I don't know if it does anything. Holy oh, shit, I I need to take this. I need to take this for experience. If I queue. <laughs> Now let's see what's about to happen. What the f look at my look at my fucking hats. I have three times the same hat. Okay, now watch this, watch this, watch this. I'm gonna run all the way around. And it makes the enemies go FF. Now this is not playable. Two random charge at 180. I got 43 tenacity. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh. And now we juiced. Fully juiced. I think they're gonna die if they... Yeah, they should be dying. Okay, let's go. Play slow, we have time, we have time. We're not in a hurry, we have time. Need to make sure I'm following up with the Ezreal. <laughs> and this, ladies and gentlemen, is how you climb an arena. Take care, have a wonderful remaining day. This was an experiment and I'm very lucky. I'm not, I, like, okay. Take care, guys. I wish you a wonderful day.